Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear workshop. My name is Pat Bear. Um, I build Lego kits and uh, model kits that are mostly Gundams, sometimes some other things. I want to thank you for joining me tonight. This is my first stream on my brand new computer. That's right, the computer that I built two nights ago on Thursday, um, which some of you were here for. I want to say hello to everybody in chat. We're waiting for a few more folks to join us before we get to working on our A-Wing, which we started last Saturday. It took a break so that I could build my new PC, as mentioned. Right now, CPU is processing at 9.4%, which is very different from my laptop, which was cranking around 26% of the CPU power in order to stream and record. Um... If you're here in chat, you can throw a, uh, a a bear cave emote in there. Let me know that you're in the chat room. Um, or you can, uh, you know, say hi, say hello. Um, tonight, we are going to finish the A-Wing, start a tall geese from Gundam Wing, and I'm going to give away a model kit that I built many, many uh, months ago. I'm going to be doing this the last stream of every month. Um here uh, in the bear cave. So the very last stream, every single month, I will um, do a random number generator from my subscriber list, and one of the subscribers will win a kit. Uh, I'm going to do no repeats, because now I'm doing this once a month instead of just as we build. So no repeats. So for, let's look, uh, from Zorbs at Johnny Warps, a.k.a. Smash Mouth 64, and uh, Hygarian, can't win any kits anymore, but everybody else is eligible. Um, I'll read you. Uh, I'll say this. One person is subscribing right now um, for their company, and uh, that person won't win because their they're, they're not great. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I talked about it on my Twitter. I don't want to get into it. But yeah. Um, if anybody wants to uh, say hi here in the chat, I appreciate that. Um, we're waiting for a few more folks to join us before we get into building. So basically, we're going to do the A-Wing, then we're going to do the giveaway, then we're going to do the uh, Tall Geese building. Uh, and I'll do my, like, you know, hey, Patreon, hey, whatever, uh, hey, Amazon wishlist stuff. Um, how's the new PC treating you, Pat? Uh, Isk, the new PC is rad. Um, I recorded... Pat Plays Pokemon, my two episodes that are going to air next week. I recorded those. No problems at all. Everything's been running great. but running video really well. Uh, my next thing is I'm going to try to do dual monitoring for game stuff. Uh, I'm going to bring in another monitor and see how that goes. I think it'll go well. Um, I should be able to DVI to both or HDMI to a second one without a problem. But yeah, I've been running smooth. Uh, those of you... No, most of you know SSDs are rad. I've never had an SSD as my main hard drive before. And it's, this computer boots like nothing. It's awesome. Um, so it is real cool. And I am uh, thrilled to have it. All right, let's 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 go to the main feed here. Uh, here we go. We got our main feed. Uh, I've got some, some stuff over here as well, uh, more uh, Legos. Here's all the Legos that we're working on. Uh, for the A-Wing. So let's finish the A-Wing, then we'll do the raffle. A subscriber will win. The, I didn't say the Master Gundam from G Gundam. Uh, the Master Gundam is the uh, the next thing that will go out to people. Um, will be the fourth time I do one of these giveaways. It's the third kit I ever built on stream. Um, people might remember it as the kit that had screws that drove me kind of maybe lose my line a little bit. The Master Gundam and then also the Shiny Gundam for G Gundam. Both had, required me to use a screwdriver and kind of drove me nuts. Uh, last Brook is letting me know um, that dual monitoring is hard to go back from. And it says that super sold on dual monitoring until you get your setup going. Yeah, so um, what I would been doing uh, when I do my bonus streams, my game streams. Anyway, let's start uh, building some A-Wing and I'll, I'll talk as I do it. Um, one of the things I noticed from uh, when I was starting to do uh, game stream stuff, my monthly game stream, is I had my laptop open to the chat and then I was playing the game on my monitor. And that's like, that was awesome. And I love the idea of having my game in one. And then basically the problem was I was running OBS, but then I also had the game full screen, so I couldn't see OBS. And it's, I don't like that. Um, 
So I'm interested in the idea of dual monitoring, especially when I'm streaming. The ability to have like a game in one window and then OBS and that in another. Um, and then when we play stuff like um, uh, with the chat, when I play uh, uh, Jackbox games, I can have that in its own screen and not on my laptop. That would probably be very good. Um, so that's the thing I'm going to look into. I'm going to test it. Um, that'll be after uh, PAX, which is PAX East is coming up. Uh, I will do a show next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Instead of Thursday, I'm going to do a Wednesday night stream um, from right here. So you can come see me uh, stream next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be streaming uh, building the tall geese. We'll keep working on the tall geese. And then I have a video that I made um, from two things that I bought. Uh, like the last things I'll ever buy from a Toys R Us. I bought two things from a Toys R Us uh, to build. I did one video of building both those things because they were small little things. Uh, it was a Ray figure kit um, and uh, uh, some little Pokemon. So I made that video and that'll be up on my YouTube channel. And then the panels I do um, will be available. I will host them because all the three panels that I'm doing, uh, Improvised Postmortem, 404 It, and League of Heals, they're throughout the weekend, next weekend. I will host all of them here in this so you can be in this chat if you'd like. Or at the very least, if you have notifications set up, you'll know that I'm going live. Uh, I'm up to three with the laptop monitor at work, and it's just opulent. Yeah, that's that's a lot, Lastbrook. Um that sounds very cool, but also pro maybe too much. I don't know if I would need too like all that. But having a second monitor uh, for when I do my game stuff, and even just like, you know, I'm playing Fallout 4 and just building some stuff, and then I can look over and I've got my, uh, uh, you know, Twitter and Facebook and all that opened up, or, you know, being able to go to look up things uh, in another, and not, not have to tab over. That'd be pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I'm thinking about it. All right, so that goes on there. So, yeah, we're building our A-Wing. Uh, I love an A-Wing. When I saw this kit, uh, I didn't even know that Lando Calrissian was... Uh, let me put Lando up there. I didn't know that Lando was available. So I'm very excited about, about getting my Lando. Um... Is uh, Harold is Harold is hosting? Thank you very much, Harold. Uh, I love having two monitors for being able to watch Twitch and also play a game at the same time. Yeah, stuff like that is cool. Um, I uh, or even just like sometimes I want to build, uh, and it's not too hard to do this, but sometimes I want to like build a um, a deck in Hearthstone, and I'd much rather have it instead of tabbing back and forth. I'd much rather have it like on another monitor. So I'm looking into that. That's something that I'm going to play around with. Um, getting another monitor won't be a thing I do until I come back from PAX. But the thing I am going to try next week is, so instead of this black curtain behind me, which kind of wraps around, um, Harold, hello, Harold. Welcome. Thanks for joining us in the chat. We're working on our A-Wing. Then I'm going to do a uh, drawing uh, from all my subscribers, and someone's going to win um, the first uh, or the uh, Master Gundam from G Gundam. So that's going out to somebody. Um, as soon as we finish our A-Wing, I'll do that drawing. So if you haven't subscribed, you can use your Twitch uh, Prime coin. Um, everyone who hasn't won something is eligible. Um, the only person who is uh, of that list of all my subscribers, if, you have, if you've won something before, hey, not this time. Uh, I'll probably, you know take that get, you know make it uh, once enough people have won things i'll probably get rid of that policy but for now um i'm gonna do that and then um i guess i hinted at it but didn't really say um the company mid boss uh uh this month is using their twitch prime uh coin uh which is just matt matt con it's just matt con um matt is using his twitch prime coin to support the stream so um, they're not eligible to win a gift or to win the Master Gundam. And uh, I mentioned on Twitter, so because they are, are now uh, allegedly accused by multiple people, including people I know, 
um, personally, I, I do know Matt personally, but I, I know some of his employees as well, or former employees um, of, uh, I, uh, I'm going to use Twitch's part of their Twitch Prime and my part of $5. And the first person that asks for $5 from me at PAX East, I'll just give it to them. Um, so that's my share and Twitch's share. Uh, it would be awesome if that person was queer. They don't have to be, but it would be cool. Um, you know, and if you're very financially stable, maybe don't ask. But I thought it'd be, um, I thought it'd be a nice little gesture because uh, I looked at the subscriber list and kind of felt weird with um, with Matt uh, through um, Mid Boss uh, being a supporter. Um, it felt uh, a little dirty, so I don't, I don't want that five dollars. Um, and I don't think they're going to renew. I don't expect him to renew it, but if he does, I'll then ask him to not do that. And we'll just kind of treat it like that. Um, so I got to put this here. But yeah, um, I went into work today. I don't normally work on Saturday, but I worked Saturday afternoon. I covered a short shift. It was only like two and a half hours total. So that wasn't too bad. Um, Harold, I, I saw that. I didn't get a chance to watch because I was setting up the stream, but I saw you made another video basically asking, demanding, I assume that you're demanding that people make videos. I think that happens, so that honestly happens more for the Rumble, I feel like, and less for, um, Paximania, although I wish people did make videos for Paximania. Uh, I understand that, you know, people have stuff going on, but It'd be nice if they help promote our stuff. Uh, I, of course, make my videos. Uh, I have three out there. Uh, the most recent video I made, which uh, came out uh, yesterday, uh, features my first ever attempt to use chroma key um, in OBS with the green screen. I have lighting. I have to get way better at it because, uh, one, I need to iron the sheet, my green screen sheet, um, or perhaps uh so we built this side we're gonna build the other or perhaps uh i will need to um staple or secure it to a wall not probably not staple secure it to a wall maybe um i've got a few options of things and then i gotta properly light it but i thought for a first attempt it came out pretty cool not to toot my own horn but i did try to work with the green screen uh and then the idea is eventually uh, instead of the black screen behind me, which I, I started saying, but they didn't. Instead of the black screen behind me, I'm going to have a green screen um, just on this wall behind me. And then I will properly light it. Um, and then uh, it'll instead of me being in the corner here with a black background, I'll the shot will be bigger. And I'll just be in the shot. Um, that's the goal. I don't know for sure how that's going to work out. Uh, but I have this access to a green screen. So I might as well give it a shot. And yeah, it's not too hard to enable um, and, and fiddle with the settings. Uh, this should be pretty fast to build because I already built one of these on the other side. So now I'm just doing exactly what I did, but in reverse mirror, just doing a mirror image. So this shouldn't be too hard. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play around. I think I, I think green screen would be cool. It'd be nice to have my head just kind of like there instead of always uh, shooting this black background behind me. Um, and I would just put it over it because part of this black is also keeping the light from seeping in. Because you might not know this, directly behind me uh, and off to a little bit to the side is a window. Uh, so I use this black. This black was up before I even started streaming just to block light from coming into my bedroom. Uh, so I was like, oh, I could just keep that up and then put a green sheet over it, a green screen over it, and then properly light it. So I'm going to try that. We'll see what happens, right? Uh, if you're building anything, you're working on model kits, painting something, you know, doing, doing whatever you want to be doing with your life. Uh, always feel free to tweet me. Uh, I haven't seen uh, uh, many tweets these days of people working on projects. I hope they still are out, out there doing things. But yeah, let me know. I love seeing it. I love hearing from you about the uh, kits you're building and painting and all that. Um, so yeah, if you're working on any projects, let me know. Let me know in chat. Uh, see if there's any anime talk for you. 
Um, all my shows are ending, um, with the exception of Overlord ends on Tuesday. And uh, nothing, there's some new stuff that looks kind of interesting, but nothing has really spoken to me. Um, I know the second half of season three of, uh, what you call it, um, Food Wars is coming. And that, that kind of interested me. But um, yeah, there wasn't anything like major that was like, oh, I got to watch that. There's a couple like, there's some kind of show about like a bunch of girls working in a magic factory or working in a plane. Like, I don't know, some kind of military effort and it's all girls working there. And that looked kind of cool, but I don't know anything about it. So I might give that a shot. Uh, yeah. And then, um, there's that show about what the main character's name is Coconuts, and the season two started, like, not too long ago. I know a few people like that show. I forget the name of it, but it's about, like, a guy who runs a joke shop on, on, like, an island. I don't know, and, but it's mostly a, a comedy, like a romantic comedy. Um, but like I said, I don't actually know much about that show, so I don't know. If it's something that I should check out. But I didn't watch the first season, obviously, because I don't even remember the name of it. All right, well, there's a base of our A-Wing. Now we're going to build up more of our A-Wing. Uh, I think that's the one where the plane is a dragon. Yes, uh, Wipe Away the Debt. Hello. Yes, the show where uh, there's a bunch of girls working in a factory. It Yeah, it might be about some sort of magic or VR dragon controls. I don't know. It, it was one of those trailers that didn't have a lot of text or voiceover. And I was like, huh, I might be into that. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be into, to be honest. I have to, you know, give everything a look. Um, but yeah, I'll check out Food Wars. Towards the end of this first half of this last season, season three, I got more invested in the show. I think it started off weak, but ended pretty strong. So I'll be interested to see where they go with it. Um, but that's about it, um, as far as, like, what I know I'm going to be watching. Um, I'm going to try to give, like, I always like to give old anime a shot here and there. Uh, and a friend of mine recommended a magic show that is also kind of like a little bit of a goofy school show, uh, with, like, a strong, you know... Uh, a goofy, but then becomes important male protagonist show. It's like a Campion, 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 I want to say. Um, I watched the trailer of that. I guess I've never seen it. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. All right. So that's that. That's that. We're going to build off of that. We're going to get in some maroon color. Very excited to work with maroon. It's a fun color that I don't often get to build anything with. Uh, of course, our Epion was all kinds of maroon, so that was cool. Uh, I don't own anything that's maroon colored, but I have a real um, love for the color. It was the color of my first car, a Mercury Sable. My first car that I ever, uh, drew, that was like mine, mine. It wasn't the first car I ever drove, but it was the first car that was like mine. My parents like gave to me it was a Mercury Sable. It was a big old car. Big trunk space, uh, like so lots of metal still in it. You know, like it was just a, it was a heavy car, but I love that thing. And it was maroon colored. And I may have at some point in my life referred to it as an Epion. Uh, I won't claim that I didn't. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm excited whenever the fuck. Uh, we get more um, uh, My Hero Academia. I'm certainly interested in more My Hero. Uh, but, you know, I don't know when that comes back. I haven't been paying attention. All right, st stickers. We've got them. I don't know what I did with, I cannot find uh, my uh, separator, uh, which I use for model kit building. I was using it with the A-Wing for sticker application, and I cannot find it. So we will have to apply the stickers without the use of a cool tool. Uh, we'll have to do it with no tools. Um, so that's not great. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. I thought I put it in this box, but I could not find it when I was setting up today. So hopefully I'll find it at some point. Uh, but 
the nice thing with these vinyl stickers is uh, I should be able to take them off and adjust them if necessary. And I also, you know, I'm not too worried about it if it looks great or looks terrible. Um, actually, let's hold on that and do the front panels first. So we do the front ones that we can use the front ones as a guide for the other ones. All right, we'll do that. These are, like I said, are not going to go on perfect, but they'll go on as best I can. Yep, not perfect, but it's working. And then this goes on like this. Yeah. It's all right. It's not great, but it's all right. It'll do. You'll get the effect. Uh, pretty sure it's back to season. Yeah. Hello, board. Welcome. We're working on our A-wing. Don't worry about coming in late. People come in when they come in. Working on our A-wing. Uh, once the A-wing is completed, we'll then do our raffle, uh, the drawing, where someone who is a subscriber will win the Master Gundam for G Gundam, uh, which I'm going to do in the last um, stream of every month. I'll be doing a giveaway. Um my backlog is no, uh, nonsense. I'm going to take a photo. Um, when I am uh, when I'm done with the stream, I'm going to take a photo of all the kits I have on the wall of kits um, so that I can properly showcase how many kits I have and how silly that is. Uh, great. So we put that on there. Oh, that looks so cool. Um, all right. And we're going to do two of these on there and those gray pieces. Not a lot of gray in this kit, which I'm happy about. Uh, kind of mix it up a little bit, a little a few different colors. Um, yeah, so I think uh, um, we're getting uh, uh, My Hero Academia this season, it seems like. I'm pretty sure. And that's great. That, that's good. I'm very excited about that because um, that show rules. And, uh, yeah, I, I've talked about it before, the Overlord. Um uh, picked up in the second half of the 13 episodes once we got past the um, all of the uh, lizard man stuff I think I got more into the show because Sebes the uh, butler is all is an awesome character um, and we got plenty of him being cool uh, also there's a a warrior character who, uh, in the first season of Overlord, um, like, ran into Shaltier and, like, had his world rocked by the possibility that some, there was someone in the world that was so much better than him that he was, like, an ant compared to, to Shaltier. Uh, he's just, like, a human who's, like, a pretty good soldier, pretty good warrior, but, like, compared to them, nothing. Um, and his name is Brain Unglass. And that is a stupid, wonderful name. The blue-haired uh, uh, warrior named Brain on Glass. It's such a good, dumb name. I love it so much. Always rooting for Brain on Glass. All right, we're building more here. I'm going to put some white pieces on here. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, like, I guess the thing I'm waiting for the most is I have to find out when in Japan the OVA is being released uh, along with the D the Blu-ray of um, Laid Back Camp. I actually watched, because I didn't watch it promotionally because I didn't want to get spoiled, but there's a five-part series that came out in Japan where the voice actors for Ndesco, the, Ndesco, the main character, goes camping for the first time and it's like promotional material and for some reason they have that on Crunchyroll and I even watched that and it's bad promotional material. It's not like good. But I was just like, oh, I want I want more laid back camp. So I watched that. It wasn't great. It was kind of fun. Cute. But, you know, as far as like promotional material goes. But there'll be a 13th, there'll be the OVA. That'll come out and I will... Uh, I will watch that as soon as I can, even if it means using a torrent site, which I, I don't recommend and don't generally support, but uh, sometimes it doesn't come out in the U.S., and I am 
I want it. So, because I, I don't know. You never know. Like, uh, Crunchyroll did the OVA of um, uh, of some shows that do the OVA, like uh, Dragon Maid and uh, uh, Interviews with Monster Girls, but didn't do the OVA for New Game, but did the second season of New Game. But that OVA, they, they didn't uh, release it uh, out there. So, like, I don't know. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Um, let's see. Uh, board, you place further from the universe ex- uh, ended really well and earned it. Okay. Well, I mean, laid back camp. Yes. Uh, laid back camp is the standout for the season. Uh, as far as both a, just as a show in general, particularly as a, uh, a show like a, in, in the genre of like a slice of life. It's a beautiful slice of life show. Uh, yeah, I bounced off a place further than the universe. Uh, I might give that another shot, but it didn't really hold my focus as much as laid back camp or even slow start. And also the art style kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I'm sure I would get used to it, but it's just I was like, I just wasn't invested in it after three episodes and three episodes. That's a lot. That's a commitment. You know, as far as I'm concerned, that's a that's a that's a that's a bit of time to say, hey, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to dedicate, you know, an hour and change to your show over an hour to your show. And yeah, it just didn't it didn't I wasn't interested in watching more of it. Uh, the Crunchy Roll has finally been airing Space Battleship, you know, Star Blazer after being out and having English subs for a few years. So it's so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know that it was showing that. Yeah, so the thing that is, I, I try to look at when the new titles is their deals with Funimation uh, and what they get and when they get stuff from Funimation is always, to me, interesting. So I try to keep track of that because sometimes they'll put in something they didn't have um, and it'll, it'll be something like rad that you're like, oh, cool, like all the Yu Hakusho. Show. They have all of Yu Hakusho. Show. And they also have like the six or the five or six OVAs, which are not worth it. They're like character focuses, action things. They're like an overview of the show. They're, it's not like worth watching, um, but it was fun to, as a completionist to go and watch like some of the old episodes that I watched fan subbed years ago uh, with a terrible, terrible um, fan sub. All right, so make sure that this is like this. And then this goes... Doesn't go over. Doesn't extend out. It ends with that. Sometimes you have to really go by the pictures here. Like, I wasn't sure if these were extended or if this was extended. Turns out this is extended. Um, and then the thing is that with the separator, you're never afraid to uh, fix your mistakes, which is great. Which is why the separator is so awesome. Because it does lend itself to fixing um, dumb mistakes that you could make. All right. And then we need... Two, two, and one. One of these. Two of these. Two of the long ones. Um. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just like now. It's just kind of the waiting game. The nice thing is that you know, at this time, um, last month, I was annoyed that I wouldn't be. I would wouldn't be able to catch up with all my anime because I was at. Uh, the uh, um, what's the name of that convention? The Seattle convention that I was at, which name has escaped me. Emerald City Comic Con. I was at Emerald City Comic Con, and so I wasn't able to watch my shows. The nice thing is, this coming weekend, I won't. Like new stuff might have started, but I kind of want to wait for there to be second episodes of things to try it out. Um, I guess the only other show that I thought I might go back to is Miss Kazumi Loves. Uh, what's the name of that show? Miss Kazumi Loves Ramen Noodles. Because I started it, and it looked cool, and then I kind of got turned off by, like, the main character not wanting... Like, I was like, I don't want to follow a show where a girl eats ramen, which is great, while a, uh... While someone tries to become friends with them, and she doesn't want to be friends with them. I just didn't... Didn't want to deal with that. I'd rather deal with a show where everyone is... Or not everyone, but like slow start where it's just like here's four friends they became friends let's see them have adventures oh more friends like that was something i was more into than 
uh, oops, drop that piece. Let's see if I can pop that out. Great. Then that show. But then I hear that it gets good. And I also really like ramen. So maybe I'll give that another chance. I don't know. Uh, none of my friends have been talking about that show at all, which is usually a bad sign. Because I uh, have friends with good taste when it comes to anime and various other things. Alright, so we're putting this stuff on here. Um, ba -ba. And I might do... I'm not going to rewatch all of Dragon Ball Super because I'm not a masochist. It's a long show. But I'll probably go back and watch like some of the tournament again. Um, some of the Saiyan fights uh, with the other... The Universe 6 Saiyans? I think it's the Universe 6. Whatever, the Universe with their Saiyans. That's... Uh, that was pretty enjoyable. Uh, cool lady sayings into that. And I liked how they were so much stronger than uh, than cabbage. Uh, so yeah, I might give that. I might give some of that a rewatch. Now you can kind of fast forward and jump to the parts that I like. Uh, of course, the Great Saiyan arc is very fun. So maybe you go back to that. Sometimes it's just fun to go back to the things you know you like. I catch myself watching a bunch of, um, like, just finding random episodes. Let's see. Where do these go, though? One and one. Oh, one and one. Okay. Um, random episodes of a, a regular at Magic School, which I've watched a bunch, just because I know that I like it, and I know that it's, like, a good action show. So sometimes I just watch that. All right, so this... Counterintuitive. These you think would go out, but they go in. Oh, I want to push so you can see it. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, you know, I also look to you as much as I like to uh, recommend anime stuff and talk about anime when I'm on the stream. If there's anything in the next couple of weeks that comes out that catches your attention with the new seasons, please let me know. Especially if it's something on like Anime Strike. Um, nothing this season on Anime Strike really made me want to like get it for a month because that's kind of how I do things. All right, we got more stickers to put on. We got to put on 12, 15, 16 and 14. Um, we'll put on 12 first. And then we'll build from there. So it just goes on this. Um Yeah, I uh, was going to say. Oh yeah. I um I was saying something. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, there was something on Anime Strike that struck my fancy that I really wanted to watch, so I did not. I have not gotten that. But I usually do Anime Strike like once a month or once every couple of months. Uh, Good news, Anime Strike is dead, and it's just rolled back to my pro. Well, there you go. I did not know that. Uh, so that means that I can go and watch. Uh, I can rewatch if I wanted to the side story for. Uh, is it okay to pick up girls in a dungeon? Um, which was the, uh, which came out on Anime Strike. I did not know that Anime Strike, uh, folded. Huh, I'm gonna have to go there. Oh, Steins Gate Zero, yeah. Uh, I like the first series of Steins Gate. I agree with you, um, board, that I don't know if I want more of it. Uh, that's like, I saw that announcement and I was like, okay. Like, that's as far as I got with saying, okay. Oh, I did not line this up right. And it's noticeable. It's uh, pretty noticeable that I fudged that up. Maybe not on stream, but in person I know. I did not do this right. So let's see if I can line these uh, lines up. Line the lines. You heard me. Uh, that doesn't look good. Well, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to get this right, but... Uh, I am going to try to get it right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like Steingate's well, Stein, uh, Stein, Stein's Gate well enough. But I don't know if I need a prequel series. Because I, I assume the zero would imply prequel. All right, that's not perfect, but it's okay. I'm going to not worry about that too much. Let's do the other side, which is just the identical. 
yeah, not too worried about these, getting these perfect. Oh, it's like an alternate story? It's not even a prequel? I assumed it was a prequel. Whatever. I uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I'm actually really interested in seeing what series on Anime Strike rolled back, because there was a couple things that they had not too long ago that were, were interesting. There was a... Uh, there was a fighting show about like a school where it was an all-girls school and then they had let boys in and then they let the women have wet the girls have weapons and then it, they kind of took over the school and then like a dude who just has a really strong uh, showed up and a strong guy was unheard of in that school. I don't know. It seemed kind of interesting. I never watched it, but that was on Anime Strike and so I was kind of interested in seeing that uh and there's a couple other things that came that were on that service and if it's been rolled back to just regular old amazon prime i should check that out uh it's an old story where he fails and gives up huh okay yeah i don't know if i want to see that uh show that stein's that version of stein's gate i don't know i don't think I do. All right. Who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll give it a shot and get sucked into it. Maybe it'll be people I, uh, who I know and respect will be raving about it. Um, as it is, I was very happy that so many people that I know and respect uh, gave... Um, uh, hmm. Where's this... How's this go? So this just goes in... Like that? What does that mean? Goes so that this. Like that. I don't know. I don't understand how this piece fits in. Maybe someday I'll figure it out. Goes like this. I'm going to be honest. I don't understand what's happening here. Uh, I built this piece here, and then it, the instructions are just like, oh, I have to build two of them. Oh, I have to build two of them, and they both fit in. Okay, I have to build two. I'm going to build another one of these, and then I'm going to see if I can understand what it's actually asking me to do, because right now I don't understand. Uh, food Wars, yeah. Yeah, bored. Like I said, um, I didn't really like the first half of that season. I didn't necessarily like the uh, festival stuff, um, but I am interested in uh, where it goes now in the second half, and the whole father-son, father-daughter stuff is kind of interesting. Not really, but kind of interesting. All right, so one of these goes like this, and one of these goes like that. And it ends up so that they're like this. Okay, that makes more sense. I didn't realize I was supposed to make two of these. And so it didn't make sense at all. And then that goes on like that. And then... I'm just going to put on these parts. I missed a step here. Miss a step? Yeah, I did miss a step. So... It goes like that. It goes like that. This goes like this. Oh, make sure that I'm doing this so you can see me. Apologize. Yeah, uh, I gotta go check out Anime Strike. See the stuff that was on Anime Strike that I never saw, and see now that it's just on Amazon Prime. It, it just seemed like I'm already paying for Amazon Prime, and the idea that they wanted me to pay extra. Felt like, well, you should roll that into its own bigger service then. Uh, okay, so we got some extra pieces. We're going to put that in our bag. And then we're going to null bag three. And then we'll do our raffle. Uh, lottery raffle. I, I call it everything. Because I don't know really what to call it. Uh, we can put those people in there. All right, let me find my box. Here it is. Here's bag three already opened. So that you don't have to hear this bag. You're already just going to hear the noise of that. And we're going to quickly null. 
for those of you on that this is your first time watching me do Lego, not only is just taking the collar, just separating by color. Very easy. Uh, we'll we'll build our uh, our pilot as well. Real easy to do. Just four pieces and a gun, so that's not hard to build. But yeah, we're just going to separate by color, and then get to building. We should have like five or six different colorways to make. And then, yeah, and then we'll move on from there. Um, excited to go to Boston. I um, I always have a good time at PAX. Excited to see some people. I know there will be some people that I won't see because they're at, possibly they're at C2E2, or they could be at WrestleMania. And then I have a few friends that stayed in New York because this coming weekend is uh, Mocha here in New York. And uh, so I have some art friends that are doing that. Uh, and I understand why people are choosing other things. Uh, but it is a bummer when I want to see my friends that I don't get to. Uh, and then also work-related stuff. Some people are choosing one pack this year. or th I mean, let's be real. There are three U.S. video game packs and one board game-focused, purely board game-focused packs. So there are four U.S. packs. I understand why people have packs fatigue or they just have to pick and choose i understand why philly for some people is better than boston because they lean more towards board games anyway i had a very good time at Pax unplugged in uh in philly i'll be back this year i don't know if league of heels will be there uh aaron is right now unsure if he can commit to that so if he doesn't go we probably won't do league of heels i'll just do 404 ing it um and uh you'd be interested to know that because I don't think I'd have the, the pool of talent to draw from to do improvised post-mortem at um, PAX Unplugged. But I am thinking that I would be able to do the Build With Bear workshop at PAX Unplugged. So I would do a live uh, at PAX version of this uh, stream. And I'd have guests and figure out what I'm going to do in there. So that's what I've been thinking about um, for Unplugged. It's months and months away. But it's always good to be planning those things because, uh, you know, want to be able to get uh, good deals on Airbnb and all that. We're probably a year away from everyone on Airbnb knowing what PAX is and that PAX Unplugged is a thing where they can charge more. I figure this year I'll still get a good deal, but next year it'll be very uh, – people just that weekend really jack up their prices. Hello, welcome to Hollow. Uh, as great as it is not to have to travel for cons, I feel like the number we have these days is insane. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I'm not complaining when New York conventions happen, right? Like, Flame Con and New York Comic Con, I love because I don't have to, I can go home, right? And then, uh, you know, East Coast Cons, I, I don't mind traveling too much, you know, like that. Uh, going to Seattle twice this year is going to be weird. I've never done. I've never been there twice in one year, but should be at PAX West. Um, I'm going to sneeze at some point, and so excuse me for that. I don't know when that's going to happen. Let's see if I can pick up the pace here on the Noling. Try to get this done a little quicker so we can finish this up and do our raffle for one of our uh, uh, one of our subscribers. We'll win the Master Gundam from G Gundam uh, that I completed. I will clean fix that up, pack it up tight, and mail it out sometime before I go away to Boston. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. Should be able to. Uh, I will I will ship it international. Uh, the two of the three things I've sent have been uh, international. I oh, know all of them, all three, right? Yeah, two Canada and one um, uh, to, uh, to Johnny, uh, to uh, Smash Mouth sent there uh, to Scandinavia. So the hope is that uh, whoever wins is U.S. resident. But yeah, uh, always keep an eye on. Make sure that you, if your subscription, because you're using Twitch Prime, if that uh, subsides, make sure that you go ahead and renew that. You have to manually renew it. There is an extension you can use on Twitch. Twitch has extensions. And there's an extension that you can use that will remind you that yours is about to expire. Um, 
I'm not telling you to use it, but you certainly could. Uh, and if you have Amazon Prime and you're not using Twitch Prime, get on it. For real. Get into it. Get on it. Uh, at the very least, uh, you get that free token. You don't see ads, so you can turn your ad blocker off. And it, if, a, if a, a channel that you like is running ads, you won't see it, but it'll count as if you saw it, which is very cool. And then you get, like, free games. Like, uh, I'm, my PC version of Super Hot was free. Like, the deals aren't can, all, always great. Sometimes there's, like, loot in a game you don't play, and that's a bummer. Or, like, a game you're like, I have no interest in that. But I got, like, Drawful for free after main, mainly pre playing my friend's versions. Or a friend's copy. So that was kind of fun. So I don't know. Obviously, I'm on Twitch and using your Twitch Prime uh, or, you, you know, real money supports me and supports Twitch so that I'm, you know, going to promote their stuff when it makes sense to. And I'll do that. And okay, great. We now have nulled everything, and we can get into building. So let's get to building. We built our pilot. Boom. Over here. All right, yeah. So yeah, I'll have to uh, check out some more anime stuff. I, I'm always excited to... Uh, okay, so we do... That goes like that, and then that goes like that. And then you put that in there. Okay. Um, I'm also to check out more stuff, especially in the in this lull. If I can pick an old series that uh, I didn't watch, that could be cool to to pick up and uh, check out. So this goes like this. So we're back to the different colored grays, which I don't particularly love because sometimes it's hard to tell what I'm doing. That goes into this. And that goes on there. Okay, and then we do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> oh, throw another bear cave emote. Yeah, if you're a subscriber, feel free to throw the bear cave emote in and uh, let people know. Uh, I have two. There's the Bear Cave emote for $5 uh, or using your Twitch coin. And then uh, only me and Iron Souls, who does not watch live, have access to the lo uh, the Lego logo, uh, which was done by... Oh, both of these are done by Alexandra. Shout out to Alexandra on this day of visibility. I see you, and you are a great person. Um, uh, all right, so got to put interesting. Oops, flew out of my hand. All right, so we'll put these on here, and then we will. Oh, we gotta do this twice. Putting our engine together looks like. It's cool. Oops. And then we'll put that on there. So you can see that. And then we'll do the other one on the other side. Two of these. Great, do that. Um, like I said, I did shoot a video that will go up next Saturday, um, Friday for my uh, Patreon backers and Saturday for everybody else. Um, so uh, we'll take a break from this at 10 o'clock if we didn't, uh, if we don't get a chance, if we didn't finish this up by 10. Um, 10 p.m. we'll do the drawing and then we'll finish this up. I thought this would be done in very quickly. It looks like there'll be the full episode is going to be finishing this up and we won't get too far into our tall geese, but. Yeah, 10 o'clock, I'm going to do the giveaway because um, I'm excited. I just want to do it. want to find out who I'm sending a kit to. Hooray. So this goes on like this. And then this goes on here. Then another gray piece goes on the front. This is a cool, cool color. So like I said, very much a big old fan of... 
uh, this maroon color on the A-wing. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. yeah, if you're watching anything, any TV or anything like that, you know, let me know. I always like to hear from y'all about what you're into, what you're watching. Um, I'm not watching any regular TV right now. I'm mostly, you know, was watching anime stuff and live streams from my streamers that I'm into. Uh, where's this piece? I'm not, I'm not missing it. I just can't. There it is. Found it. Sometimes you know, and you're very confused. All right. One more sticker here. I mean, there's more, but one more to put on right now. This is goes on the front. All right. That's good. And then that goes on the back of our kit here. Huh. Oh, just slides in there. That's cool. Oh, this is already looking so rad. I love the A-Wing. It might be my favorite ship. Oh, this is landing gear. That's cool. This is landing gear. I've figured that part out now. And then we put on two of these and one of those. These in light gray. One of those. Uh, let's see. I've been re-watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's rad. Shout-outs to Phil Jackson. Good friend Phil, who writes for that show. Phil writes a lot of the episodes that where you're like, Holy shit, they did that? Like, those kind of, like, powerful episodes that, like, often have a lot to do with race. Uh, Phil is the guy, is the head guy on those. Obviously, it's a table, rewrites, and all that, but he takes the lead on a lot of those episodes. Uh, watch the start of Terror on AMC. Huh, I haven't even heard of that. Just watched all of Nailed It on Netflix last night. Just aren't enough episodes. Yeah, I heard good things about Nailed It. I haven't seen it. I've heard good things. Um, all right, so we got to put so there. But yeah, my my bro uh, Phil Jackson writes for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Like I've had quite a few friends that have written for that show over the years, um, but Phil is still there, which is awesome. All right, number one. No, number seven. I was gonna say number one didn't look like it fit. Uh, wasn't the right thing. What we get going on here? Will Smith is hosting the stream. Not that Will Smith. The Will Smith I know, not the Will Smith I don't know. Thank you, Will. You're often not in the stream when you do this, but it's very nice of you. And we'll do that. Great. So, yeah, uh, last night you dreamed that even though I graduated 10 years ago, I was playing with my high school band at competition, and Captain Holt was the band director. Ha! That, uh, Nadavis, that right there is a weird dream to have. But good on you. Seems pretty cool as far as dreams go. All right, we're going to put our cockpit in here. Oh, this is coming together. It looks so nice. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Uh, Wait, did I not? So at some point, I missed the step where I built landing gear for the front of it. I don't know when I missed that step, but I did. Oh, see, okay, so... I thought they were showing me both the ones I had to make. They were showing both the ones that had to go to the back, and then they showed the front one, and the front one they put in, and it's actually laying down. You can't really probably tell on there, because I couldn't tell. They wanted me to build one of these and put it in there. That, like, come on. That's that's bullshit. Uh, that would have been that was very hard for me to see. I don't I don't expect. Like, you know, don't you don't have to handhold, but also like, come on, that's nonsense. All right, so yeah, I missed the fucking. All right, great. So there's the landing gear for the front. That's really annoying. That step was not clear. And they know it. All right, so we put the landing gear down. Hell yeah! Look at that shit. Stand it right up. Okay, now we're going to build uh, the pod. Build the little pod here. We're almost done. Doot, doot. 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm rushing. I think I'm just excited about being able to uh, do the giveaway, which we'll do very soon to subscribers. Uh, Terror is a horror show. Oh, uh, wait. What do we got here? Um, it was a very strange dream. Just started a PS4 backup and the estimated seven hours to complete. Oof. That is a long time. Now, Davis, you got to get a Lego set. You know, you don't have to do Star Wars like I do, but it's just so fun. I miss doing it. I miss doing this in model kits. That's the main reason I started doing this. Obviously, one was because uh, I wanted to do some online content for people and, and make some stuff. And uh, people that, like, only see me at live show things or podcast appearances. Um, but, yeah. Um... Terror is a horror show that's taking place during the search for the Northwest Passage. Also, it has Siren Hines, and he is an awesome actor. Uh, that sounds like a cool, weird historical fiction. Not historical fiction, but like historical show that is a fiction show. That sounds like that might be pretty cool. Okay. What am I missing here? Um, oh. Look at the wrong color. That'll do it. Yeah, I have a little trouble with my grays, as, as anybody that's been watching the streams know uh, from these kits. The difference between the light gray and the dark gray can get me sometimes, and especially if they're the same uh, shape, uh, I might reach for them wrong. Like, the, this is a different color. And you know that, and you can tell really, like, especially on the second, and my on my uh, shot, you can really tell. But to me, sometimes I do have trouble with that uh, in in print, seeing it in print. Uh, occasionally, that is bad for my eyes to see that. And to, you know, so uh, great, and some kind of weird looking piece, and then a red connector piece, light red here. This goes in. And then this goes in and then through. Okay. I'm not quite sure what this thing is, but we're building it, so we'll get there. Uh, you discovered your hobby shop has been getting in some of the limited premium Bandai kits. So you picked up a special. Oh, yeah. So the Toggies I'm building right now, I bought at Emerald City Comic Con. It's not the new Toggies they brought out last year, the New York Comic Con. Uh, not exclusive, but they debuted it there, which is the one you're talking about. The coating that makes it look more metallic um, is very cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm psyched your shop had that. That's awesome. Um uh, I had one of these as a kid. I used to build a car and come super complicated mechs with tons of escape pods and transformers and shit way back in the day. I'm going to click on this link. Uh, I cannot look at this link that you sent. does not want to open as a thing that I can look at. So I... Oh, uh, let's see if I take off. There we go. Oh, that's cool. That is a fun looking thing. Yeah, there's a little artifact after the J, uh, P, uh, JPEG. So you just got to delete that, and you can see the image that you linked to. Uh, all right, and then we put two of these together. One, one, two. All right, it's 10 p.m. Let's finish this piece, and then uh, we will uh, we'll do our giveaway right now. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to turn the page to see what's next. Okay, so I'm going to go into uh, Twitch, and I'm going to get the up-to-date subscriber list and get that emailed to me. Um, so let's do that. Let's go to that. I can get an email. It'll take a moment. It really just takes a minute because I don't have, you know, an, uh, an ordinate amount while I'm doing that. Uh, my Patreon, I am slightly under $100. Tomorrow is April 1st. It's a great time to get on board. I am slightly under $100. I am trying to get to 150 so that I can stream three times a week. Um, so that's if that's something that would interest you, you're more than welcome to join me for that. Uh, we've got um, 
a uh, my Amazon wish list. My Amazon wish list is rad. I've got a bunch of stuff I'd like to build on there, like some action figure model kits for Star Wars and Dragon Ball. Uh, I made that Krillin. I'd like to make more of those. Those were really fun. Those are on the wish list, along with like at the bottom, like some stuff that would be cool to have. Uh, my coffee, my Ko-Fi is right there for one-time uh, donations uh, as we wait for the subscription list to come in from Twitch, which it just did. Okay, so I'm going to download that. Going to open that. Going to have to uh, delete two rows. It lists me as a subscriber, which is dumb. Uh, so I have to delete those. And okay. So, as I said, if you won before, no, 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 uh, I think there's only only one of you, actually, are still subscribers, or two of you are still subscribers that won before. Uh, so if you won before, no, uh, sorry, Hygarian, uh, Johnny Warps, and Zorb. So yeah, two of the three of you are still. Hygarian, I, I haven't seen you in forever. I don't know what's up. Uh, and then uh, We Are Mid Boss is not going to win. So I'll redraw that if it happens. Um, but yeah, uh, let's do this thing. I'm going into my random number generator. I'm setting numbers between 1 and 25. Ba ba ba. 1 and 25. And I'm going to hit generate. And the winner is. Drew B346. Uh, I don't think Drew you're in I don't think you're in chat. Let's look at see here. Uh Drew B346. You are the winner. Uh, I'm gonna message you after the stream is done. Uh yeah, you're not in chat. Um, but I'm gonna message you through Twitch when it's done, and then also uh, see if your, um, uh, uh, yes, I'll message you through that, Drew, and then I don't know if I follow you on Twitter, but I'll, you know, I'll go through this process. Usually what I do is I try to message through Twitch, and then if people don't see themselves, don't get the message, then I, uh, I'll, uh, I'll try to find you on Twitter or whatever. Yeah, uh, Drew has been in the chat several times, so I'm very excited for Drew. Thank you, Drew, um, for for that. Uh, and let me put that in my document so that I know that Drew won the Master Gundam from G Gundam. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to find out where in the world Drew lives and mail them something. And then, uh, so what happens is if, if Drew is like, never responds after a while, you know, I'm going to give him time. Or if Drew is like, actually, no, thank you. I, I don't want that. Then I'll do another drawing and contact somebody. But I hope that Drew wants that Master Gundam from G Gundam because I want to, uh, I want to clean it up and, and make sure that it's packed well and ship it out. So hopefully Drew wants that. And if not, like I said, I'll do another drawing. Uh, right now, I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't think we're going to get to our tall geese, y'all. Uh, my feeling is that we will finish this up, and it'll be around 10.30, or maybe even a little after 10.30, because I, I, we're going to finish the A-Wing. I'm definitely not going to do the A-Wing um, uh, after this. So we're going to finish this up, um, but it might st we might stay a little while while we do it. But whatever, it's my Saturday stream. I don't have to be anywhere. And then I also, you know, built the PC on Thursday, but didn't really build anything else. So, interested to continue to work. Um, I don't expect to buy any kits or anything at uh, PAX because PAX doesn't generally doesn't have model kits of any kind. Occasionally some kind of little thing, but rarely do they have anything that piques my interest. So, of course, I'll keep my eyes open. The tall geese that we're going to start working on, I guess, on Wednesday. Um, I uh, I bought at Emerald City Comic Con, not expecting to buy any kits. So, you know, you never know. It's totally possible that I'll uh, want to uh, get in there. But, yeah, congratulations to Drew. 
very happy for you. And then hopefully uh, I'll be able to get in touch with Drew. That's the hope, anyway. So we need this. Oops. Oh, no. Ugh. I set my table up. Um, usually folks will, will notice that the line here is normally like this, this line, because I set my table up a little differently. And I, I now I know I don't like it like this, which is good to know. All right, so I'm going to want to set it up differently uh, for Wednesday. So this goes, this goes in, and then this goes like this. And then it goes like that. And then another great piece there. And then one more wheel. Uh, this thing we're also going to do on the other side, I know. For a fact that this is not the end of this kit here. Oh, it's one to one, so they're like put it like this, so you can see. But there are only two of these. I don't really need to do the one to one. I know what piece they're asking me to make. Uh, that's kind of silly. All right, so we take a wing. We're gonna put this goes like that. So we're gonna put a sticker on it. We're putting sticker number eleven. Only a few more of these stickers left. Which is great decal stickers whatever you want to call them this is not too hard to put on so i'm not worried about messing this up too much yep that looks fine and then that goes on this here but yeah uh, the plan is that um uh for the next few months at least i'm going to do this last stream of every month i'll do a giveaway um until it becomes, uh, until I kind of get through my backlog. Like I said, I'll take a photo of all of the many, many kits that I have tomorrow. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to having less of those kits and getting them out to people so they can display them or take them apart or whatever they want to do. All right, and then this goes on here, like so. Great, that goes on that. That looks awesome. And then we're going to build the other one on the other side. Stop me if you've seen this before. Oh, wait, you totally have, because I just did it. Uh, eat them? <laughs> no, the hollow. I would prefer that if I mail you a kit, you don't eat the kit. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to yuck people's yum. I'm trying to be as respectful as I can of what people are into and what they like. Um... But, uh, but no. Uh, actually, um, I think Kate Leth put up a, a nice thing today, uh, about, um, her own, like, kind of realizing that she was, like, being a jerk about the furry community. And it was a nice, it was a nice little piece. I don't want to put words in her mouth about exactly what she said, but it was a nice little bit of business about, like, getting her own, getting over her own prejudices, uh, and not really understanding folks. Um, and then I always thought about this. Uh, let me see if I can find it, uh, um, on YouTube. I'm going to look it up on YouTube and then you can follow the link and then watch it later. Uh, it's a Doug Benson joke that, uh, he only did once on one album. So he had this album, um, where he did a cooked version, an uncooked version. He did the uncooked version. And then he got very, very high and then did the same set at like a later show. And he put both uh, out. Um, well, I'm going to stop it because I don't want to get content ID'd here on the stream. Uh, I'm probably going to get content ID'd for that really very brief moment. But uh, you can watch this. I'll put the link right there in YouTube. You can watch it later at your leisure. Um, but it's just a joke he did uh, about... A hotel he was staying at because he you know, obviously he stays in hotels uh, a lot, and he stayed in a hotel where there was an anime, an, uh, a uh, a furry convention happening, and how he had like never really put much thought into it. He knew that there was like sex involved, but he didn't really think about much beyond that. And how he learned that it isn't just about that; it's a lot about a lot of other things. It's just people who are, and he kept saying mascots, which I know that some people don't like that term, uh, and he meant no malice by it. So you know. He did, does refer uh, to them as, like, mascot costumes, which they're not. Um, but, yeah, it's just about, like, 
you know, you'd go to the bar and music would play, and then a bunch of people were play were dancing around dressed uh, as animals, and how it was very cool. Um, and he's like, as far as I know, the only well-known comic to talk about furries where the punchline isn't that they're furries. And I always loved that um, because Doug is, I mean, Doug is the pot comedian. That's, you know, and he's a good dude, but he's like in his forties and like progressive, certainly, but like not the person, the first person I would think of that had like pro furry material. Like, I would not have thought that that would have been Doug. I would have said Doug would have been the first person to be like, hey, we're being mean to vapors. Like, that's who I think Doug is. Um, so it's always been uh, a real, it always tickled me that he has a joke about that. That he did, like, that joke across the country where he was just like, hey, furs are okay. They're just fun. Let's be nice. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, Kate talking about that today reminded me of that. Uh of that joke, and, uh, yeah, I always liked it, but, yeah, I hope that nothing weird happens with this, because I momentarily, that played an audio, because I didn't mute it fast enough, um, I don't think it'll be, I think it'll be okay, anyway, that's reminded me of that, um, let's just all be good to each other, right, that's all, that's all I ask, um, the nice thing is, I've always been so thrilled how, uh, welcoming and wonderful you all are. Um, I lucked into a very supportive chat. Um, I always really appreciate that, how nice everybody is to, uh, to new people and how you're all like, Drew's not even here, but you all said nice things about Drew. And I think that's, or, or, you know, about Drew winning. I think that's cool. Always makes you feel good. Um, and yeah, next Wednesday, I hope you all can join me uh, for chatting. Uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, because I didn't want to do what I did for San Diego or for San Diego uh, for Emerald City, where I went to Emerald City and didn't stream at all that week, and um, that was that was a little rough. Uh, it took a little while to bounce back from that complete week off, and also I missed streaming. I missed building, and I missed being with all y'all. Um, and I didn't. I only had one panel when I was there, two panels, but only had one. And neither were live streams, so I couldn't even do that part. So yeah, I'll be able to stream all my panels, and then uh, probably I'll probably be shooting some videos from the table. Uh, Davis, you uh, have weird work schedules; you're not always around, but I really enjoy poking in when you're streaming. It's really fun, and relaxing. Yeah, I, I think this chat is very relaxed, and obviously there are folks that don't ever chat that are just here in the stream, kind of hanging out, chilling, uh, which I really appreciate. Um, folks that just want to like listen and I have people that watch later on YouTube which is nice uh, but yeah um, if you're going to PAX next week make sure you come to Bandland that's right when you come in um, most likely we will be on the other side of the escalator every year they kind of change things around a little bit but we'll be in Bandlands with like Chris Straub and the other folks that are friends of PAX but not um, musicians, not part of that part of Bandland. We're like the weird extra part of Bandland, which I love. Uh, all right, so then we need number one. Um, it's just a fun part of Bandland to be in, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, we'll be near Straub and like, you know, uh, loading ready run and whatever else extra stuff. Um, is the extra people are there. Uh, we'll be there uh, doing our thing for League of Heels. We're going to have signings. We're going to have one signing on Friday. Um, I'll tell the stream because we're going to publicly mention it soon, but I'll tell you all. Um, Friday at uh, 2 p.m., we will have D. Leasy and Dr. Tracksuit, a.k.a. Dave Lang and uh, Jeff Gersman, will be signing uh Friday at 2 p.m. And then Saturday, starting at noon, going all the way until, I believe, 5 p.m., we'll have signings from, and I will announce the exact times, Eric Pope, Kate Stark, um, uh, Abby Russell, and Alex Navarro, and Andrea Renee, and John Drake, a.k.a. The Bank, and Johnny Casanova. Um, they will all be uh, doing the stream thing. 
or doing the signing thing. And you don't, if you're going to be at PAX, you don't have to buy a poster and have them sign it or buy a shirt and have them sign it. You could just bring your badge or a piece of paper or a napkin and they'll sign that. It's all free. Uh, especially fans, fans of Kate, it'll be nice to do that. Uh, Harold, I'll try to catch your Wednesday stream while you make last minute PAX prep, although I'll probably have an earlier morning than you. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, although I'll say this, my Thursday bus is at 3 p.m., uh, 3 a.m. Because I wanted to get in, I have to get in on Thursday early to do setup. So I have a, what, what some people would call, ridiculous nonsense early uh, train ride, which I will. Uh, so I'm going to stream from 8 p.m. till 9.30. And then I'm going to try to go to bed and sleep for a bunch of hours. And then wake up. And then uh, wake up and then uh, get on a, get on a train and then try to fall asleep on that train it's a five hour train ride i expect i will be able to i usually can sleep on trains because it is uh amtrak uh, and it's a pretty pretty uh, solid ride so my hope is that i don't have any kids or anything else that will keep me up and i will be able to get a nap in on thursday but yeah uh I really wanted to be up there and show, you know, show opens at 10. I got to get there before that. And the price was right. I thought about maybe going up on Wednesday. But I'm glad I'm not. One, so that I can stream with all y'all. But two, because we're working on our weapons right now. Uh, two, uh, I didn't. Uh, it was just easier to just go up on Thursday. There was always a chance that this wasn't going to work out and we weren't going to be able to. Uh, your flight boards at 5.10 and leaves at 5.45 in the morning. Oof, that's a rough one. Uh, you'll act, the Navy will actually be able to catch the Wednesday stream. You're going to Nashville on Tuesday for SmackDown, then going to the Gulf Coast on Thursday to see some friends. Then you're going to New Orleans for NXT TakeOver in WrestleMania. Now, Davis, that fucking rules. I'm so psyched for you. That sounds like, I mean, one... That's already going to be a great SmackDown because that's like the go home show. So that SmackDown's going to rule. Uh, it's going to be like any last minute stuff they have to do for feuds. And then you get to see friends and that's cool. Always cool. And then you get to go see uh, NXT and WrestleMania. That That's awesome. Um, I would be remiss if I did not say to Davis, you already have such a long week already scheduled. Um, Kaiju. Uh, Big Battelle is there. Uh, I have friends who work for Ka who work with Kaiju, uh, who do stuff with Kaiju. Um, they are awesome, weird, creative, wonderful people. Uh, Kaiju will be there, and their shows are. I mean, you saw some Kaiju stuff uh, when they came to PAX that one time. Uh, PAX East, they got involved. Uh, it's a silly great time. So. If you've got an opening in your schedule, Na Davis, that might be a cool thing for you to go check out. But it sounds like you already have so much good stuff going on. Uh, then I'm envious. Uh, you live in Memphis and saw that the Go Home Smackdown was in Nashville and tickets were pretty cheap. And Daniel Bryan got cleared. Yeah, I mean, Daniel's going to be there. they got to set up the show. Uh, and then, yeah, and seeing friends is always great, too. Uh, yeah, um, so if you, yeah, I, I would say, uh, obviously you're doing NXT, so that you, so you're going to miss the Ring of Honor show, so you're going to miss, uh, Kenny versus Cody, which in all right, well, should be a barn burner, um, uh, so if you're missing that, then I would say, it, yeah, uh, try to look for, uh, see if the either of the, because I think that Kaiju is doing two shows. And that's just good, clean, wholesome, nonsense fun. Uh, I really, really recommend them. They're wonderfully weird. And I'm sure they're going to turn it up for. And also, like, weird indie people that are there for other shows like to s jump in with Kaiju because it's like, their bookings, no one gets mad that they're doing a kaiju show. So you, you end up seeing some odd, especially Japanese talent, make their way to a kaiju show and be excited about it. All right, last thing to do is put in our rockets. Our rockets red glare. Uh, 
missiles here. You would probably stomp these down. But we're not going to do that. Because I don't want to shoot them. And then... Oh! So if I press down on this... It'll shoot them off. So those weird little uh, gray pieces we have to pop in are the triggers for our uh, missiles or lasers or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. That's the kit. Uh, this A-Wing came out beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to put it right there. Got the little little uh, tools as well. We got our minifigs. We'll take our minifigs out. Uh, this came with a, with a uh, separator. We already have one of those, so I'll keep that with this. It's good to know where a backup one is in case one of the one of it miraculously disappears, like my uh, like occasionally tools uh, do. Uh, and that's gonna do that. Uh, Ring of Honor NXT, yeah, that ladder match looks great. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of great stuff with Takeover, uh, and also it's Ricochet's debut. I mean, so that rules. That's going to be a great takeover. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm going to take a photo of that after. That was that build. Um, let's just look at our tall geese. We're not going to build our tall geese. We're not actually going to get started. But we can we can take the stuff out here. So, here's our tall geese. I might try to do some of these stickers. I don't think I will. But uh, this is the tall geese. Um, I am excited to put it together. I think it's going to look real rad. Uh, I don't know when this came out. Yeah. This is the 2013 release, so it's not the one from last year. Uh, it doesn't have the metal look. But this is a great kit. I'm very excited to build it. Um, oh, we got to... If we're talking about it, we got to show the image. That's from the, their website. Um, let's see if I can... Look at this box here. Yeah, so this is uh, this is what we'll start on Wednesday. And then we'll take a break while I'm in Boston. And we won't do anything with it. But uh, this is the next kit. Uh, it's a very cool kit. So the Tall Geese is like... Uh, it, it predates the Epion. This is like the before... This is like the last of the mobile suits that were non-Gundams in Gundam Wing. It's like a... Uh, the third... It's like Tall Geese 3 is a heavily modified one. Um, it's, you know, it's about knights. It's like, you know, like got the circular shield, which I love. It's got like the one big gun. Uh, it's, it's meant for like to invoke, uh, n like a, a knight in shining armor. Um, so it's got two, uh, beam katanas, of course. And like it's rockets for, for getting thrust. Uh, the gun is described as being like almost like a lance because it's so big on the arm. Uh, yeah, it's just a really, really fun, solid kit that I'm looking forward to building. Like, like I said, I did get a very good deal on this, but I didn't, shouldn't have bought it. But then it won the poll for Patreon. My $10 a month Patreon backers get to vote on the kits I built. And a score of two to one, this one over the Buster Gundam, which someday I'll build. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, congratulations again to Drew. I'll be reaching out, Drew. Hopefully you'll hear this soon and you'll hear from me soon. Um, thank you for supporting. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers for, for, uh, for being there for me. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday at 8 p.m., for that, uh, and then of course we'll be at PAX. Uh, let me really quick put into chat uh, my schedule for PAX. If you're going to be in Boston, you can definitely find me. If I'm not doing one of these panels, uh, I am going to be in uh, Bandland at the League of Heels table selling uh, shirts. We've got three shirts, uh, two of which are on ProWrestlingTees.com slash League of Heels. One that is uh, a shirt that looks like a certain controller from a certain gaming system uh, that will be exclusive to that right now and a poster that is exclusive uh, so thank you for watching uh, thank you for all your support uh, and like I said um, turn your notifications on so you know when I go live next weekend so that you can see the panels that I'm doing because I'll be uh, hosting all the panels here in, this, in the chat 
Uh, thank you very much, and have a great rest of your Saturday night or a good beginning of your Sunday. Bye.